why is it so important that Hamas be stopped? Yeah. So, um, as you know, Israel is back in the land since the late 1800s, and the state of Israel was born as Isaiah 66 predicted. Um, within a matter of hours, we had to decide whether to declare statehood or not when the Brits told us that they're leaving. Can a nation be born at once, Isaiah asked. And of course, it, it was. <clears throat> but from the very beginning, we knew that we have a, an issue um, with the enemy. The enemy that hates God and cannot fight God, and therefore it comes against the people of God. And um, so... Don't be mistaken, but in 1929, we were already massacred in Hebron before Israel was a state. And we were massacred by the same people that are now trying to kill us again. And no one talks about that. But we are talking about an ongoing attempt to stop the plan of God, to bring the people of God back to the land of God, to fulfill the plan of God. And that's what we are witnessing. And, and unfortunately, I must say, many of the Jewish people in the land of Israel grew complacent and um, the country is doing very well, obviously throughout the 90s and 2000 and Israel economy is just skyrocketing. We're from a country that was on the verge of annihilation in 1948 until 19. 67 is now one of the major powers in the world. A lot of people decided that it's our time to be part of the world. And to be part of the world meant for many of us to stay away from that which makes us different. We want to be accepted, so we run away from that which makes us different. It's something, by the way, that God warned us from day one. And it's something that even Balaam, when he wanted to curse and found himself blessing, he said, from far away I see a nation not reckoning itself among all the others. But I want you to know that Israel was torn before October 7th. So many people hated their Jewish identity, hated their Jewish background and Jewish, um, I guess, uh, who they are and what we're doing here. We began to apologize for being here, just like it happened to you guys now. I mean, I see so many similarities between what's going on in Israel and what America is going through right now. Wokeism, liberalism, progressive mind, uh, mindset took over. The day before October 7th, the Supreme Court was to deli deliberate and to, de to decide whether Jews can pray in the streets of Tel Aviv. Can you imagine? That's how torn and divided we were. And then came October 7th, 6, it was actually 4.30 in the morning when <clears throat> we already detected some very, very unusual movements. Apparently for months, the soldiers along the border warned and said and talked and screamed and tried to get their commanders to do something. But when it got to the top brass of the military intelligence, it stopped right there. It stopped right there because many of the top brass military generals were involved to their neck with politics and were not happy with Netanyahu. And so it stopped right there because it stopped right there. And it's interesting because that night... All the signs were there, and yet the order was not given to the forces on the ground to get ready. 
the conception was that Hamas is deterred, that what we are watching is probably another exercise, military exercise, which they've been conducting for the last few months. To be honest, even the Hamas terrorists thought that it's an exercise. And only an hour before, they were told, no, this time is for real. So very few people in the very top command of Hamas knew today we're doing it. The rest thought maybe it's another exercise. And what happened at 629, a heavy barrage of rockets, mortar shells, along with drones that dropped bombs, snipers that hit um, the, um, all the cameras along the border. And we basically blinded the Israeli, they blinded the Israeli military from even seeing what's happening along the border. Simultaneously, on top of Toyota pickups, on top of motorcycles and 4 by 4s they managed to breach 15 places along the fence. And the first thing they did, they slaughtered the military presence along the border that they could. And then they approached their prize civilians. They came ready and armed to kill as many as possible in the most sadistic, barbaric way possible. The amount of weapons and explosives and RPGs and um, my, I mean, the amount of weapon they had with them was enough to kill at least 100,000 people. 